So the the gaslighting of the British public continues apace as the government of the judiciary and all of the powers that be desperately pull on their levers to undermine the will of the British people yet again. And this constant, relentless undermining of everybody is now becoming more clear to everyone. Even the normies are starting to wake up to what's going on. And there is this rising, rapidly rising awareness of just what the hell is going on. A lot of this, of course, is to do with the Trump election and the kind of obvious, you know, just stating the obvious. Oh, what Trump has said is the, the return of common sense politics. It doesn't matter what you think about Trump and so on. You know, I've often had major reservations about this in the past, but the simple fact is, is that the cancer is so bad, it is so almost unbelievably out of control, that the only way to deal with it is to take something of a wrecking ball to the current situation, or the status quo, and simply tear everything apart. And America has got it right in doing this. There's no way that you can flim-flam your way around what is essentially the destruction of Western culture. And that's exactly what's happened. It's the destruction of Western culture. It's the gleeful destruction of the West, of our country, in order to engineer a midwit paradise that's been sort of created on paper by expert theoreticians who have never done anything, people who have never actually lived in the real world and supported by a middle class that believes that these academic experts, these people with certificates on their walls are the ones that know best because after all they have qualification a b and c and of course what we're witnessing is the 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 final the final death throes of desperation as the ideology of all of this bullshit meets reality which of course results in them trying to square the circle of their stupid, ignorant, naive, and quite frankly, evil ideas. It's not to say a lot of people, I don't believe that there is evil intent here. They're just stupid and they've got religion. The problem is that this is essentially turned into a religious catastrophe. It is ideology, the religion of the left, is breaking everything apart and it will destroy everything. People have got to wake up to what's going on and people have got to stop and think about just how close we are to things falling into a situation which is very similar to what you would see, and it's not being hyperbolic, about what, what people have experienced in Eastern Europe in the, in the past, East Germany, the Stasi, the police situation is completely out of control. People being jailed, etc., etc. Nobody knowing what to say anymore. And this is an absolutely disgusting and importantly, an untenable situation. The British, of course, will be last in resolving this because the thing that has made all of this happen is the British tendency toward tolerance for living together on this relatively small island 
and developing a culture that is essentially respectful of other people as a kind of foundational principle so that we can all get along. But this has been hijacked by politicians. They know that they can get away with what the hell they want because you won't do anything about it. You will just sit down, watch your come dancing show and simply pretend that it's not there. Oh, you know, it, it must, it'll all blow over. It's not blowing over. It's just going to get worse and worse and worse. What you've got to think is that this is not going to get better. It's going to get much worse. We have to be able to stop it. We have to call all of this stuff out and stop this happening. The reason why it's happening is because all of the oxygen is still being provided by these lunatics, and they are lunatics in the educated elite middle class. More than 10 years of voting by the British people to try and communicate to the government what it is that we want has been ignored systematically. Everybody has been labelled as stupid, as gammons, as racist, as intolerant. This whole gaslighting is getting to a point where, like I say, it's super clear to people. Enough is enough. They can't arrest everybody but the British have no balls. We have no balls to do anything about it. Fucking ridiculous. It's ridiculous. How many more people are gonna get jailed for things that they say? How many more people is it gonna take? What, a 16 year old boy was jailed, I think last week, because his sister who killed herself after being raped by Muslim gang and this, her brother, who's 16 years old now, went to the demonstration, one of the demonstrations to do with the Southport, the Southport killings. At some point, like the British, this tendency for respect and tolerance is actually our Achilles heel. And the government know that this can be stretched and stretched. There is a disdain that they have for you. They think that you are stupid. They think that you are servile. It's not gonna end well.